this nation, which up to 1960 was stable in its laws and customs. It was solidly somewhat Christian. It was anti-communist, anti-socialist. It was observant of the natural law with the exception of divorce laws, which was the beginning of the end. For example, up to the 1960s, it was illegal to sell birth control devices in pharmacies. Abortion was a felony. It was punishable by prison. There was not even a question of same-sex marriages at that time. Sodomitic acts were considered against the natural law. They were banned in public even. It was not even discussed in public. It was only whispered when necessary. Kids certainly did not hear about it. Most adults hardly even thought about it. To be it in public was to be vilified, and it was criminalized. By the way, if you're watching this, please share it to your friends, as this is merely a YouTube chat for friends right now. The rare cases of sodomy being very public in the West were the transgender operations that were being done in a very left-wing Sweden, which was rotten ahead of most European nations. And they were so uncommon that you couldn't even read about it in the newspaper at this time. Now, in the 1950s, the federal government actually had a surplus. And if you don't know financials, that just means there was no national debt. Families were, in general, very stable. It was only with the, the rise of Elvis and rock and roll, who, by the way, was a scumbag, degenerate, sinner whose singing and whose lifestyle led to the corruption of millions of girls and boys. The 50s was generally a better time than it was now. Far better. Yet it still had its faults. America wasn't perfect in the 50s. In fact, it was never perfect. But there was a semblance of normalcy. There was a hangover of Catholicism in America. Like I mentioned, families were stable. Divorce was rare, and especially since the person suing for divorce had to prove a sufficient reason for it in the eyes of the law. For example, adultery, desertion, etc. No fault divorce arrived in the 1960s. By the way, is my audio on? Especially since the person suing... Yeah, that's my voice, all right. During this time, mothers stayed home with their children. They kept order in the home. Children grew up psychologically balanced and secure, spiritually brought up well as to the finest extent possible. For the most part, their upbringing was stable. There were no school shootings, and yet children oftentimes brought guns to school for gun classes and shooting classes. More on that later. Pornography was outlawed until the Supreme Court decided again after 1960 that it was art. Placed it under the protection of freedom of speech. Decent people did not use vulgar words or impure words. And let me tell you, my friends, we use them all the time. Every sin of impurity is a mortal sin. And yet these mortal sins are on the lips of many of us. Women dressed modestly. Most people went to church on Sunday before the Vatican II Council in the 1960s. Every Sunday mass attendance in the United States was 75%. That's wonderful. That's beautiful. And what happened? How did this country decay? How in one person's lifetime... Did America descend from being a nation, if not Catholic at least, of one nation that abided by natural law in most cases, which had a sane and decent culture and way of life, which had an abhorrence for socialism and communism? Religion in this country has been made completely a private affair. The empire of reason has become the empire of insanity, of ignorance, and of moral decay. That dreamy, idyllic, epicurean world which the 18th century 
philosophers and deist Freemasons concocted. That world, that political state of pure nature without God or religion has become not just sick. It has not just lost its common sense. It is slitting its wrists and bleeding out in the bathtub. Because man without grace has fallen.